Hi, this is Pyro Spiral 5397, and today I'm going to show you how to put your own SB settings theme on your iPod. This is me at a football game with my cousins dressed up as two cans. So you can put whatever you want on, but I just chose that for the video. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is download WinSCP, and I'll have a link for that in the description. And then once you download that, you want to open up your picture editing software. I use MS Paint because I'm cheap. And you want to either open up your picture or make a new one, like draw a picture on Paint or whatever. And then once you have your picture there, you want to go over to File, Save As, and you want to name it background image row and then you want to go down to save as type and then PNG and you want to save it in pictures so now what you want to do you want to go into WinSCP and you want to make a new thing host name will be root username will be your IP address and then password will be alpine you want to make sure this is SFTP and check mark this and then save I already have one uh, account made, so I'm just going to use that one. Now, oh crap. Alright, give me a minute here. Son of Alright, I'll be back to you when this is over. Alright. Now, it should come up with this. It says, searching for host, connecting to host, authenticating, using user, using root, username root. Now, your password is going to be Alpine. And it's going to say, access granted or whatever. Now you're in. What you want to do, you want to double click this and then go into mobile then you want to go into the library and then go down to SB settings then you want to go into themes now these four themes are the ones you already have I put this one because that's the theme I have right now now what you want to do is right click new directory and then name it the file, the name you want it to be. Like I named mine Toucans, you can name yours whatever. So you want to open that. And you want to go into your pictures. So go into there. And you want to open up your background image row picture alright so just drag it over here press copy now what you want to do right click rename and right before row press 1 then keep it like that now bring background image row again over here Press copy. Now do the same thing. Oh no, I don't want to delete. Do the same thing, but this time, in front of row, press 2. I'll bring it over again. Copy. Rename. And then this time you want to put 3. 
So now you have your theme, your SP settings theme. Now for the buttons and stuff, like right here, these buttons, you want to get them on by, you can go on paint and make your own buttons, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I go into any original one and you want to copy every uh, file that's in here except for those three so you want to click once shift and then click the last one and you'll select all of them now what you want to do you want to take these and you're going to drag them over here under your picture so I already have them, so I don't need to. So then, you want to click on, you want to double click 3G or something, and then go back, so that these aren't selected anymore. And then click once on 3G, shift, Wi-Fi, and drag them over here. So then once you do that, you want to go back into your folder. And you want to uh, put every file that was on the other file and put it on here. One at a time. Well, not one at a time, but, you know. Every one that was in the other folder, you want to put it in this folder. Wait. I accidentally put iPod photo cache. Alright, so. Yeah, this is gonna take a little. Alright, now, once you've copied all the things, files, into this folder, you want to go onto your iPod. Uh, go to SP settings. Go to respring. And it should take a little bit to respring. And when it's done, I'll get back to you. Alright, now that it's respring, you want to go to your SP settings again and press the more button. Now you want to go to Manage Themes, and then pick your new folder. Now press the Home button. Now it's re-springing again. Alright. Any day now. Alright. No oh, crap. Alright. Now. Once you respring it for the second time, your theme should be right there. And yeah. That's how you do it. Please rate and subscribe. And message me for any questions you have. And yeah.